hey guys i hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video so in this one we are going to try a very interesting thing the idea here is to use ai to generate some concepts use another ai to turn it into a 3d model and then import it into unreal i just wanted to give it a try and see if this workflow and this pipeline works or not because the thing with ai is that you think it's going to make your life easier and make everything faster but when you put it to practice it doesn't work so i just wanted to give it a try and see if it's possible to use this pipeline for our unreal projects and games and whatever so yeah the idea here is to use an image generating ai like mid journey or dolly or whatever you are familiar with and create some concepts here i'm using Keria ai which i think is really easy to work with it has a very good ui and you can just go to the website and start generating images it has a lot of uh, options for example you can use these different styles in the right side of your screen and go for photo style concepts cgi or cartoons the hd option works as well but you need to uh, get an account and pay for subscription and i don't want to do that i just want to use free ai tools so i'm going to stick with concepts and sometimes the cartoon option i want to create a mini robot with pokemon style and this is my prompt here as you can see we have very decent results the designs look very good the proportions are decent and these are designs that we can actually work with some of the images don't make sense for example we see guns floating in the air or objects going through the head and things like this but these are not things that we need to be worried about we can just edit them in our 3d package software easily and this will be easily fixed another option in Keria is that you can draw some lines and shapes and it's supposed to change the design based on what you draw but here i think it works properly with the hd option in the concept option which i am uh, trying right now it doesn't care much about what you draw and it just uh, changes the design a little and doesn't work well so again i think it's supposed to work with the edge option another interesting option here is that you can use images and photos to tell it what you are looking for it works better in the hd option but here in the concept you can see that sometimes it considers what you are telling it and sometimes it doesn't care and it gives you some random pictures okay now we need to go to the next stage we need to uh, download these images and use a 3d generating ai to see if we can turn these into 3d models here i'm using this website which is called hyperhuman but the 3d model generating ai is called rodin so just go to the website and here you can uh, drag in your concepts and just generate 3d models here you can see the models generated by other users and to be honest they look very good they are decent designs their renderings look good the lighting is good and the textures look fine uh, for example here i opened this guy here and here you can see that you are able to look at it from all directions uh, here you can see the geometry and in the wireframe you can see that it has a very good topology as well it's all quads which is very important for us it enables us to edit it easily in our 3d software packages all right all you need to do now is to just import one of the images that you made with your concept generating ai and just hit generate and upload prepare and here is your 3d model here you can look at it and then here you have a couple of credits to use 
for editing or changing the model and then you need to hit confirm after you confirm the model you will be able to see the topology and again this AI doesn't give you unlimited changes so if you want to use it freely be careful about how many edits and how many changes you do here again you can see that this is all quotes which is going to be very useful when we edit it in blender so for the next stage you can create materials here you can just hit generate and it will create some materials for your model uh, I liked the geometry but the material does not look good at all I think it's messy and the resolution is not good enough but maybe if you purchase some subscriptions and increase the resolution and do some iterations you can get something out of it but it's not that important for us because I'm going to texture it in substance and make a very good material for it so yeah let's just export a model and then go to blender to make some changes yeah and this is how she looks in blender not bad at all not bad at all but also not perfect for example here you can see that the arms have absolutely no details and it looks like it's amputated <laughs> also another problem with these AI generated models is that the different parts are blended together there is no separation which makes it look unrealistic especially for these kind of designs mix and guns and mechanical models which should have some separation between different parts but these are not things to worry about you can just easily edit them in your 3d software package for example i didn't like this tail here so i deleted it next i selected some of the polygons and made some extrudes i think this separation between different parts make it look much better and more realistic another thing i didn't like about the design was the eyes i wanted to look angrier and meaner and it was really easy to fix you can just add a lattice and using these control points you can change the overall form of your design every other package has this option for example in 3ds max is called ffd so just drop this modifier on your model and easily change how it looks here as you can see there is a lot of difference between before and after and it has a different feeling compared to the default design the final thing i wanted to fix was the arms so the easy fix was to just add a cylinder do an input and then an extrude and make it look like a gun as I mentioned before these models are not perfect but with a couple of adjustments you are able to make something that is actually ready to work with so yeah this is how it looks and it's ready for texturing as I mentioned before I didn't like the texture so I decided to use substance to make some decent textures for it here as you can see the UVs are messed up so I just went back and made a smart UV and then re-imported the mesh I baked the textures again and now you can see that it's working perfectly this is actually the fun part texturing is really fun and for example when you're using something like substance it's very easy very fast and very enjoyable now you can see that it's looking very good when you add textures and materials your models come to life they also cover all the mess and all the bad design and bad geometry in your model here i'm using just some smart materials with some scratches and dirt and then i'm just playing with the colors playing with the placement of the materials and as you can see you can easily make something beautiful out of your 3d model which was not perfect at all you can always go back to the concept and get ideas for example you can add decals add emissive materials and make it look interesting 
yeah this is how it looks after being textured in substance and i really like the design so let's go to the final part and see how it looks in unreal and this is how she looks in unreal i think it's a very good result i really like how she looks and for the materials i'm just using the textures i exported from substance and then multiply them by a constant so i can make a material instance and control the roughness the specular and the emissive and all the other stuff so here as you can see you can just bump up the emissive you can control the specular and make it metallic or make it rough and this is something that you can completely utilize in your projects if you are prototyping and making some sketches and ideas you can use this method 100 percent and it will be perfect for you even if you want to use them for your final packages and projects this in some situations works for example if these guys are enemies and the player is supposed to shoot them and destroy them uh, they won't get close and won't mention any bad geometry or bad uh, textures so it can be even used in your final products yeah and that's it guys i think this will be used a lot in the future and a lot of games and a lot of projects will utilize this method so thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel peace out